Have you ever felt the sting of a seemingly harmless comment that cuts straight to the heart? That's exactly what 68-year-old Nancy Perez experienced when her little granddaughter asked, Grandma, why do you smell funny? And then added, It's just your smell. Mum says it too. Those words struck Nancy more deeply than she ever expected. All her life she had taken pride in her cleanliness, so it felt like a punch to the stomach when her granddaughter refused to hug her and wrinkled her nose in disgust. That night Nancy wrapped herself in a blanket and cried, wondering what on earth had changed. Hello and welcome, I'm Dr. John and today I want to talk about something that affects almost everyone over 60, yet very few dare to discuss, the so-called old age smell. You notice it in situations where people don't want to sit next to you on the bus. Maybe your grandchild avoids leaning in close, or your daughter-in-law flings the windows open every time she visits. Let's be honest, it's often the elephant in the room. And the saddest part, in my experience, is that 99% of older people don't realize they have this distinctive odor, while everyone around them notices it clearly. But because it's embarrassing or out of politeness, nobody says anything. This unspoken tension can create misunderstandings, hurt feelings, and even strain family relationships. Let me share an eye-opening story with you. Carlos Garcia lived an impeccable life. His house was spotless, he showered daily, and he made sure everything stayed neat and clean. Yet one day, when his son had friends over, Carlos overheard one of them whisper, The old man smells kind of strong. Those words froze him in place. From that moment on, every time his grandchildren came to visit, he withdrew into his room. Too ashamed to spend time with them. Now, you may be asking yourself, could this happen to me? And if so, can I do anything about it? The answer to both is probably yes. But here's the good news. You don't have to just accept it. Science shows that as we age, our bodies change and so does our natural scent. Yet with just a few adjustments to your daily routine, you can reduce that smell by up to 90%. I'll tell you how one of my patients won her grandson back. Maria Torres, then 65, once came to me in tears. Doctor, my grandson doesn't want to sit on my lap anymore. What should I do? She was devastated. After years of observation and research, I gave her a simple method that changed everything. Want to know the secret? It's surprisingly easy. Spend just three minutes a day thoroughly washing two very specific parts of your body and the results can transform your life. Before we get to the details, let me share another story. An 88-year-old man named Fernando Olivares once told me, Doctor, I use the most expensive cologne, but my son still won't stay in my room. He always finds excuses to leave. I had to be honest. Fernando, perfume isn't the solution. In fact, layering a strong scent over an existing odor only makes things worse. It's like spraying air freshener in a dirty bathroom. The smell might be covered for a moment, but the real problem remains. So if you're relying on heavy perfumes, body sprays, or colognes to hide unpleasant odors, you're not solving anything. On the contrary, you risk creating an even harsher smell, one that makes people fling the windows open even faster. The real solution lies in tackling the root cause. So where does this so-called old age smell actually come from? Many assume it's simply part of aging or think it's because someone doesn't wash enough. Hygiene does play a role, but science is more precise. As we age, our bodies undergo three major changes, changes in sweating. In our younger years, we sweat about a liter a day. By the time we're 60, that amount can drop to half a liter or even less. You might think less sweat means less odor. In reality, it's the opposite. Sweating is a natural cleansing process that expels toxins and waste through the pores. With less sweat, those residues linger on the skin's surface, a perfect breeding ground for odor-producing bacteria. Daniela Gutierrez, age 71, once asked me, Doctor, why do I smell bad even though I barely sweat anymore? The answer, exactly because of that, the body's natural detox process has slowed down. Changes in sebum, our skin produces an oily substance called sebum, which changes chemically with age. In older people, sebum begins producing a compound called nonenol. Studies show that nonenol levels rise significantly after age 50. By the time you're 70, the levels can be high enough to create a distinctive, easily recognizable odor. 
Nonenal is an oxidized fatty acid that is almost absent in young skin, but plentiful in mature skin. That's why people often talk about the typical old age smell, changes in the mouth. After the age of 60, the mouth changes noticeably. Saliva production drops by more than 50%. Since saliva naturally cleans the mouth and balances pH, less saliva means more bacterial growth and dryness, which leads to bad breath. Linda Dugart, age 69, admitted, I can feel my mouth getting dry when I talk, and I can smell my own breath. I'm embarrassed to get close to my grandchildren. This dryness really can cause unpleasant odour and make social interactions with family and friends difficult. All these factors, less sweat, altered sebum and a drier mouth, add up. And the question I hear most often is, can this age-related odour really be eliminated? The answer is yes, but not with perfumes or deodorants, only if you tackle it the right way. The case of Jacinto, it takes Jacinto, age 75, as an example. He came to me feeling defeated because his grandchildren refused to enter his bedroom. His son tried airing out the room regularly, but the smell remained. Jacinto was deeply ashamed. Six months after following the method I'm about to explain, he came back with a smile. Doctor, he said, beaming, my grandson sits on my lap again. It seemed like magic. But in reality, it was just a simple routine that anyone can apply. And the best part, you don't need expensive products, only consistency. The three golden rules. Before I show you which body areas you should target, let's lay out three fundamental rules. I've also divided this video into chapters. Check the description for an overview so you can jump directly to the sections that interest you. First, drink warm water. It may sound too simple, just water, but it's essential. Water is the body's most natural cleanser. It helps flush out toxins and waste through urine. Start every morning with a glass of warm water. This simple habit can noticeably reduce age-related odor. Margarita Arias, 72, says, At first it was hard to drink water right in the morning, but after a month it felt normal. And guess what? My grandson told me I smell better now. Even my skin looks healthier. Try to drink at least six glasses a day. Schedule it. One glass when you wake up, one before lunch, one after lunch, one in the afternoon, one before dinner, and one right before bed. Coffee and tea don't count, especially coffee, which can dehydrate you even more. If you drink coffee, add an extra glass of water to your day. Second, shower daily with warm water. As we get older, daily showers can feel like a chore, especially on cold days or when mobility is limited, but regular showering is crucial to wash away toxins, dirt, and bacteria from the skin. Avoid water that's too hot. High temperatures strip away the skin's protective oils and can actually make odor worse. Keep the water around 98 to 100, 4 degrees Fahrenheit, 37 to 40 degrees Celsius. Once a week, you can take a 20-minute bath at about 104 degrees Fahrenheit, 40 degrees Celsius. This deep soak opens the pores and helps release built-up impurities. Many of my patients report that their skin becomes softer and their body odor far less noticeable. A gentle walk in the sun. When someone says, I'm too old to exercise, I understand. But even a short 20-minute walk in gentle sunlight can work wonders. This isn't about intense workouts, but light movement with a touch of sunshine. Sunlight helps reduce harmful microbes on the skin, while walking improves circulation and supports detoxification. Avoid the hours of strong sun, go before 10 a.m. or after 4 p.m. Juan Sandoval, age 71, told me, At first my legs hurt, so I started small, just 10 minutes a day. Now I manage 20, I feel stronger, and I notice I smell fresher too. The key is consistency. The effects won't appear overnight, but anyone who follows these three rules experiences lasting changes. The most overlooked zones. 90% of body odor. Now let's talk about the exact areas. Did you know that three specific regions of the body account for about 90% of age-related odor? Even people who shower daily often overlook them. Skin folds. This includes the neck, armpits, under the breasts, the belly button area, the groin, behind the knees and the inner elbows. These regions trap sweat and bacteria. The perfect mix for unpleasant smells. Susana Barrios, 66, told me, I always showered, 
but I never paid special attention to under my breasts or scrubbed my armpits as thoroughly as you suggested. Since then, my grandson hugs me again, use a soft washcloth or sponge and be gentle. Harsh scrubbing can irritate aging skin. Stick to lukewarm water and mild soap. Sweat-prone areas, especially the feet between the toes and the palms which contain many sweat glands. When moisture lingers, bacteria multiply and strong odor develops. Javier Moncada, 68, recalled, My feet smelled so bad I was embarrassed to be in the same room with my daughter-in-law. Then I started washing them carefully and drying between the toes and the smell disappeared. A simple routine. Wash your feet thoroughly, dry them carefully between the toes, wear clean cotton socks and rotate shoes so they can air out. A sprinkle of baking soda inside shoes can also help. Hairy areas, the scalp, chest hair, and underarm hair trap sweat and oil if not cleaned thoroughly. Many underestimate the scalp or think a quick rinse is enough. Tomas Hurtado, 62, told me, I started massaging my scalp with a mild shampoo. The difference in smell was huge. Now I'm no longer embarrassed when my grandson hugs me. Pro tip, massage the scalp well, rinse thoroughly and dry completely. Men with chest or stomach hair should clean these areas just as carefully. Bonus, don't forget your back. Sweat soaks through your shirt, but the back is often neglected simply because it's hard to reach. A long-handled brush or even a towel can help you clean every spot. To make your shower routine more effective, use lukewarm instead of hot water to protect your skin's natural barrier. Choose mild soaps rather than heavily perfumed products. Strong fragrances can irritate the skin and mix unpleasantly with sweat. Moisturize your skin after showering. Dry, flaky skin can actually intensify body odor because it traps bacteria more easily. If you can, shower daily. If mobility is limited, you can rely on partial washes or sponge baths on difficult days. The importance of diet. Many people don't realize how closely diet is linked to body odor. Betty Suarez, age 60, once asked me, Doctor, I've eaten garlic my whole life. Am I the reason my house smells like this? The answer is more complex than a simple yes or no. Foods like garlic and spices can indeed cause a stronger odor in the short term. But over time, they often help reduce odor because they're rich in antioxidants. Antioxidants, your best allies. Oxidation processes in the body play a major role in unpleasant smells. When you eat foods high in antioxidants, such as tomatoes, apples, strawberries, or brown rice, you slow this process down. Pedro Romero, age 79, swears by this method. The doctor told me to eat an apple and a tomato every day. Two months later, my granddaughter told me I no longer smelled like an old closet. I could hardly believe it. Interestingly, garlic, despite its strong natural odor, actually helps fight bacteria and free radicals inside the body especially when consumed in moderation. Just one or two cloves a day can strengthen the immune system and over time even help reduce body odor.